What is up? Colby Sharp, fifth grade teacher here. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading. Today we're going to be talking about 10 books that I read my fifth graders during the month of February. And let me tell you, our month of February was a little bonkers. We had a four-day weekend for President's Day. We came back on Tuesday, had a three-day off ice. Most of the kids lost power. It was a disaster. So we had one school day out of 10 days, fell a little out of our routine, but we still managed to read some pretty amazing picture books. Let's start with this one. The Hospital Book. You may remember Lisa Brown for, from her book, The Airport Book. There is nothing like a Lisa Brown book. The, the, just the details, all the stuff going on in each page is just mesmerizing. I love this book. It's a story about a girl who has to go to the hospital when something happens gets poked a bunch of times. Wonderful book. I think it's really gonna help put kids at ease on going to the hospital to take care of their needs. Just an awesome, awesome, amazing. Look at that case. Holy smokes. Next up, What's the Matter, Marlo? Have you read this one? It is a pretty sad book uh, about a kid who becomes very sad and the kids are kind of like wondering why. And then they realize what happened and then a lot of them have been gone through a situation like this and lost something that matters to them. Yeah, great book, check it out. I don't wanna give anything away. Read this book every year, What's the Matter, Marlo? Leads to some great discussion. Um, love, yeah. Um, we are about 45 minutes south of Michigan State University. And it's one of those situations where things are pretty confusing and pretty hard. So after the shooting in East Lansing, we we read um, Love. And there's just a scene here with the family gather on a television after a tragic event happens. Um, was it just a book for us to be able to um, just kind of be sad together and know that love is, is something that we can find our way back to. Once upon a book, Grace Lynn, Kate Master, I love books so that are like where like book is also like part of the character or the setting. And this is one of those books. I think this is gonna be one of those books that's on like, I don't know like which ALA awards, like is it a Newberry, is it a Call the Cop? But what I do know is that this is going to be one of those books that we're gonna find on like, you're gonna be, you're gonna hear in a couple years, you're like, oh, once upon a book on 20 state book award list. It's that good, it's phenomenal. It's just so much fun to read aloud and discuss with kids. Next up, you can't go a whole month without reading a picture book biography, Ice Cream Man, holy smokes. This dude, uh, Augusta Jackson, how he just was driven to make ice cream affordable and bring ice cream from the rich elites to everyday person just needing something sweet on a hot summer day. What an amazing and remarkable story. It takes place in the United States. Um, during a time where many um, black people were still enslaved. Um, Augustus was not. He actually like, spent some time working in the White House kitchen and eventually went back to Philadelphia and just the work that he did, an amazing man. Check out the Ice Cream Man if you haven't already. Eve Bunting and Laura Castillo's Yard Sale. I've probably read this book aloud. This is signed to my daughter. I probably read this book aloud 200 times to my own children. It is just a staple just a staple at bedtime reading story of this girl whose family is having a yard sale because due to finances, they are no longer able to live in their home and they have to go live in a small apartment. And watching this girl say goodbye to her friends, say goodbye to her possessions, um, and just be worried that what's the future holds for their family. It's a beautiful book. If you haven't read this one, check it out. Eve Bunting, master storyteller. Lauren Castillo, called the cut honor winning illustrator for a reason. Phenomenal. Be a King. Uh, I feel like, like we should read a Carol Boston Weatherford book every month of the school year. Like that should be a goal of all of us. Like it really, it really should be a goal of all of us. Her books are so phenomenal. This is just a book about living by the principles and teachings of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Be a King. Check it out. So good. Brand new book here, In Every Life by Marla Frazee. This has my favorite spread of the year. So In Every Smile. Let's get some light. And then check out this page turn. This is my favorite two-page spread of the year. I can't get enough of that. 
check it out, Marla, right? She's on like three new bear, or three Caldecott honors, I think. So talented. On a beam of light. We had read this book earlier in the year. If you watch these videos, you may have seen me talk about this one. But we are studying uh, and writing nonfiction texts. So this one was a book that we use as a mentor text for writing endings. It's a strategy that I got from Jen Cervalo's Reading Strategy Book 2.0 which is a phenomenal book if you haven't read it already. But On a Beam of Light, really awesome read. And then finally, Evergreen, Matthew Cordell's Caldecott. Uh, Caldecott met a lot of award-winning creators this, this month reading. It's kind of like not, I think Matthew said it's not a chapter book, but it is told in kind of like sections. It's a little bit longer of a read. Parts, parts is the word that Matthew used. But Evergreen is the squirrel, very nervous, a little anxious and has to go and deliver a acorn filled with soup to a sick forest creature. So that's what we read. What a fun month. It was wild. Storms didn't help. The books did. I hope you found something great to add to your to-read list. I hope you're reading some awesome books to your readers. If you don't subscribe, why not? Click that subscribe button so you can be notified anytime I share something new in the next great picture book. So thanks again for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome-tastic day.